Welcome to today's broadcast. No matter what kind of day you're having, please remember that God is big and God is good. He is bigger and better than you think. I just don't know where the time went. Now that's just not something going through a grade school boy's mind on his way home from the last day of classes just before the summer break. The time between the first signs of spring and the end of the school year seemed to have taken forever as a child. But as adults, we use and hear others use that phrase or one of its cousins so often it's become an annoying cliché. Did you ever think about what we put before a phrase? I meant to see about getting together with you for lunch. I just don't know where the time went. I meant to study my Bible today. I just don't know where the time went. I meant to call you last week. I just don't know where the time went. Honey, I meant to finish that project last weekend. I just don't know where the time went. Can you imagine using such a lame excuse before the Lord? Lord, I know you asked me to pray for her. I just don't know where the time went. Lord, I know you put on my heart to help him. I just don't know where the time went. Lord, I know you spoke to me about doing something at the shelter. I just don't know where the time went. Lord, I know you revealed to me some of these issues that I need to work on. I just don't know where the time went. But it's only when we separate ourselves from God's presence that we can make such statements. Maintaining our distance from God adds a time element to our faith. And if we allow our faith to be a future event instead of a current event, if we do not demand that our faith be acted out in real time, in other words, we simply cannot have real faith in God. God is not our future help. He is our very present help. We read in Psalm 46, 1, God is our refuge and strength, a very present help in time of trouble. Now that is some really good news. For more, please visit GiveMeThatMountain.org and you have a wonderful day.